Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Farwa, and you're watching Ninja Iraqi Dinar News YouTube channel. Hopefully, you all will be fine. Let's start today. Today, I have some exciting updates to share with you. I recently had a conversation with my CBI contact, and they provided some valuable insights into the next steps concerning the Iraqi dinar. I was told that the committee handling the dinar does not have clarity on the next targeted steps. They have been instructed to stand by while the Central Bank of Iraq CBI tries to push forward with the process. It seems like they are ready for the next phase. The IMF is currently negotiating the new peg for the dinar, but it's essential to remember that this will impact not just Iraq, but all countries involved in this new peg. The negotiations are close to completion and are expected to be finalized by the end of this week. Once this is done, we can expect the currency swap-out to begin in the following week. However, there has been a delay until further notice due to recent events, particularly the U.S. bombing issue. We are still hopeful that progress will be made soon. My contact emphasized that despite the delay, the process is irreversible and will move forward. The U.S. has assured Iraq that they will not back out if the CBI proceeds with their plans. So, for now, all we can do is be patient and observe what unfolds in the coming week. In more exciting news, the IMF has officially stated that they have finished with the RV revaluation and have released all necessary information to individual countries. This is a significant milestone in the journey towards the dinar's value increase. While we cannot predict an exact timeline, we anticipate a rate change happening in the first quarter of the year. As Iraq starts using the dinar more extensively and engages in currency swaps with other countries, the demand for the dinar will naturally increase, leading to its value appreciation. In another positive development, Iraq's central bank has achieved a new step in the right direction to regulate foreign trade. This demonstrates their commitment to establishing stable economic policies and opening up avenues for international business. Additionally, the CBI recently concluded essential meetings with the U.S. Treasury and the Federal Reserve. These discussions were centered around Iraq's goal of becoming internationally recognized. Fortunately, the CBI has made satisfactory changes, and both parties are content with the progress made. Finally, the Iraqi citizens have been informed that a change is coming. It leaves us wondering what their next steps should be. Come January 1st, should they continue to use a worthless currency? Should they continue living in misery and poverty when they were promised a better future? The potential for Iraq to become another Dubai is still on the horizon. The CBI has done a lot already, but what more can they do? The answer lies in reinstating and floating the dinar, which will undoubtedly bring immense happiness to the Iraqi citizens. That's all for today's update. Stay tuned to our channel for more news and updates regarding the Iraqi dinar. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.